The Gilded Age, which spanned roughly from the 1870s to the early 1900s, was a period of significant economic expansion and industrialization in the United States. The term of Gilded Age was coined by Mark Twain and Charles Dudley Warner, suggesting that while the era appeared prosperous on the surface, it concealed underlying social issues and inequalities. During this time, there was an unprecedented accumulation of wealth, primarily in the hands of a small elite class of industrialists, financiers, and entrepreneurs. This economic growth was driven by factors such as the expansion of the railroad system, the rise of big businesses, and technological advancements. One notable aspect of the Gilded Age was the construction of extravagant mansions by the wealthy elite. These opulent homes were often located in close proximity to industrial and business centers, reflecting the concentration of wealth in those areas. The construction of these mega-mansions was not only a display of affluence, but also a manifestation of the aspirations and tastes of the privileged families of the time. Architects during the Gilded Age played a crucial role in bringing the visions of wealthy patrons to life. They were called upon to design homes that reflected the opulence of European architectural styles. The influence of Italian, French, and Romanesque designs was evident in many of these mansions. However, as the era progressed, architects began to develop unique derivations of Art Nouveau and Art Deco styles, adding a distinctive touch to the buildings. Art Nouveau, characterized by flowing lines and decorative elements inspired by nature, and Art Deco, known for its geometric shapes and lavish ornamentation, became popular design movements during the latter part of the Gilded Age. These architectural styles were embraced by the elite as they sought to express their wealth and sophistication through the design of their homes. In summary, the Gilded Age was a period of remarkable economic growth and wealth accumulation, leading to the construction of opulent mansions that served as symbols of affluence. Architects of the time played a crucial role in translating the aspirations of the wealthy elite into architectural marvels, drawing inspiration from various European styles and eventually incorporating unique elements of Art Nouveau and Art Deco into their designs. Almost 100 years later, an eclectic mansion was built by an executive working for a Fortune 500 company. His wife was very artistic and directed the design. There is no doubt that this house would have made a Gilded Age entrepreneur quite pleased. This design was built on three levels in a classical style with influences from several period architectures. At over 20,000 SF it had formal living, dining, and library. Eight bedrooms each had a private bath and closet. There were five powder rooms. A family room, kitchen and breakfast area on one side balanced a complete mother-in-law suite on the other. There was a fabulous marble foyer with a single winding metal stairway that served the three levels. There was a lookout tower, spa and exercise room, billiard room, and wine cellar. A boathouse including a small apartment with a granite walkway, a gazebo, and service quarters with gasoline pump graced the grounds overlooking a pristine lake. I was fortunate to be selected to finish the design after early schematics were found insufficient to create the masterpiece that the owners required. This is Mir Bell, a private residence built on the beautiful waters of central Florida. Enjoy the images preserved here before a very irresponsible remodeling ensued after the house changed hands a few times and destroyed the original design. Please leave your comments and subscribe to receive notices for upcoming architectural videos that span from the real and historic to the ethereal and modern.